Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is gonna be full. There we go. That card wants to jump out for everyone. Actually, no, no, let's allow it. <laughs> um, for the week of the 24th going to the 30th of January. So let's have a little look and see what's going on for you guys. For the week of head. For the week of head. Whoa. Aquarius, what's going on for you? <laughs> that was not supposed to come out my mouth. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> naughty, it's a naughty week. I'm going to stop there. Jeez, spirit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let's see what's going on for you guys. <laughs> for Aquarius, please, spirit. That's not going to leave my mind. I'm sorry. I should probably restart this, but I'm not going to. <laughs> for Aquarius, please, spirit. Nice. Winds everywhere. I love this, actually. Um... We love this. I'm going to leave it there and then we're going to speak about it and then we'll go into it. So for this week, I definitely do see a really great opportunity moving forward. The thing is, normally with a serendipity card, I kind of feel like this is like unexpected. The thing is, you saw this coming. You saw something coming here, Aquarius. So <laughs> this is, some of you are dirty minded. I feel it. I can, this whole reading already has been dirty minded. Jesus. Maybe it's just me. The serendipity card coming through. Yeah, normally it does kind of feel like um, unexpected, but for some reason, maybe you saw this coming, as in you 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 wanted this. And the Ten of Pentacles, maybe you manifested this. I mean, there's, here they are saying, you knew this was a part of your path or your journey, whether you saw it in a dream, saw it in a vision, or whether because you know you want it so badly that it was only inevitable that you were gonna make it work somehow. The serendipity do does say that there is an opportunity coming away that is allowing you to, again, attain some sort of a success with the 10 of pentacles, though wealth. And again, with the high, uh, high with the hermit, there we go. Um, this is something that you've seen, you've seen, because it was a part of your path. And you can see the hermit is looking at the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you, um, to some of you, I, I do sense that you kind of look to others for inspiration. You guys are very observant here, Aquarius. You kind of look at others and go, okay, I'd like to do that. And because I know that someone else is, has done it, I know it's possible for me. You know, if they can do it, why can't I? And this is a really good mindset to have in terms of your dreams and goals, because you're coming from a very higher perspective. And this is allowing you to have hope. It's what the hermit represents here. It's holding the star. It has hope on your future, which is great. And you you should. Because with the Between Worlds card coming through, you've been through a lot of shit, Aquarius. It's very clear to say 2021 felt like a really intense year for you. You know, kind of, it, they showed me a bit like a washing machine, which is interesting. A very interesting vision. Thanks for it, because... The washing machine, I kind of meant it in a way that you've been round and round and round and round uh, with something in 2021. You know, you kind of been through the ringer here and you kind of come out looking all scraggled and stuff, but they're saying now you're clean of everything that was dirty for you, meaning um, you maybe it was actually getting rid of addictions. That, that's what they mean by you're, you're now clean, withdrawing from something you was addicted to, whether it be things or people or situations that, again, put you round and round. Spirit kind of cleansed you of something in 2021, which is so interesting. Again, take that how it resonates. I don't know what they mean, but they showed me the washing machine and it was very interesting for me to see. So now it's time to dry yourself off, <laughs> iron yourself out, um, which means you have to do the inner work. There's still some work to do, but this is good because what you're walking into is bright, full of color and uh, enlightenment. A lot of you guys are starting a fresh slate. This is what it is. 2021, I don't know why, again, they're saying this, it put you through this loop to, again, cleanse you, to wipe the slate clean for 2022. This is a better year for you, by the way. So let's give you that motivation there because now you're more focused on what you want rather than what you don't want. 2021 allowed you to see what you didn't want in life, whether that be people, whether that be things, all right, whether it just, you know, it put you through a difficult situation, but now you're able to come out of it, which is good and incredible, actually. Again, expect a lot of wealth in your future. I do feel like you're very fond of pets, too. I do see a lot of pets in your future as well. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on for you here. Serendipity, let's see. I kind of want to clarify it. Yeah, so this could have been something that happened with travel or when you travel here. Some of you could be physically moving uh, with the uh, emperor here. So whether this is you taking control of your life and moving and finding happiness somewhere else, or if this is something that happened whilst you were traveling, uh, a lot of happiness coming through. You might have met someone whilst traveling. 
Um, but this is you moving away from, okay, so they're saying here, yeah, something that you felt trapped in. <laughs> Today, the intuition is really here. Spirit is really talking with me here. They know exactly what I was going to say and help me out here. Something you felt trapped in. You kind of couldn't see past this or you felt stuck in a situation. Spirit comes in and gives you an, an escape route. An exit route, there you go, it sounds better, right? <laughs> it doesn't sound so intense. They gave you an exit route, and before you couldn't see an exit, now you can see an exit, now you can see where things are going. Of course, the hermit, I must say, it feels like a lonely path for you, and maybe that's what happened. Maybe we separated from someone in 2021. They kind of really showed me 2021. So you guys are thinking about last year, reflecting on last year, uh, or it's important to, because it was a very important lesson for you. Now moving forward, we're doing things differently. Six of Swords. Travel is definitely on the horizon for you. Something important happens when you travel here. All right, let's see between worlds. Nine of Pentacles, uh, which is um, confidence within yourself, independence. Again, Vir Virgo energy coming straight in here, uh, Aquarius here. You learning how to manage your time, energy, and confidence better, which is good. You're becoming stable, which is great. Finances too, you're working on your finances, great for savings. Uh, this is um, being able to be financially independent as well. So if that's a goal of yours, you are working towards it. Okay, which is great. Nine of um, Pentacles is really good for feeling better about yourself. And again, it is Virgo energy. Feeling maybe a bit lonely, but this is something that um, is helping you achieve the dreams and goals of yours. Why? Because of this between worlds, it is a little bit of frustrating energy because there is still something of the past lingering. Uh, but you're stepping away from that. And this independence is helping you to move forward without distractions of the past or of people who are the kind of people you used to hang around with or used to, you know, you've outgrown things. And this is what this is saying here. You, you now understand the difference between things that are good for you and things that are bad for you. All right, let's clarify this 10 of pentacles. Nice. You guys are receiving uh, some abundance this week. This could again be uh, someone who's giving you some money here, which is really nice with the Six of Pentacles. It is about paying off your debts too, but I do see when you put money out, you get money back. Some of you are definitely going to be very charitable. Um, some of you have maybe have been doing that within this week or again, um, this legacy, you guys, this is a very clear indicator here that some of you will be like philanthropists when you achieve a lot of wealth, you don't even need to have a lot of wealth, but you give to others continuously along your path. And this is what you're uh, most known for in a spiritual world. <laughs> they, they, they reward you for this. You're a very giving person. Maybe other people see it too. This is what people see of you. You're very giving. You're Aquarius. Even when you don't have a lot, you give, which was, is where money is coming your way now. And this can even be in terms of career. It could be helping people. Even you know you, even though uh, it starts off small, you can make it something really, really big. Think of where your. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they're making me say this. I'm so sorry. It's so specific for some of you, but um, think of where you're needed because I think this is where you're going to grow a very, very big amount of wealth. By the way, okay, and it could even be in travel. Some of you could start up something in a really kind of a developing country and this is where you kind of make it big because you're you're helping other people around you this is a really good idea for some of you if you have um have thought of it already this is good um seven of swords just be very aware of who's taking your money okay uh, i do see there could potentially be people who are stealing ideas be very aware of this um understand with the seven of pen uh, seven of swords sorry with the six of pentacles that there could be again people who are trying to take from you, whether it's your ideas, whether it is your money. I do think it's good to give out, but with the Eight of Pentacles, this is also good for giving to yourself too. Build this. This is great for investing. This is great for uh, putting your money in like a really good savings account that accumulates some interest. I don't know. I'm not like a, <laughs> I'm not an accountant, but there is a lot of business ideas and future ideas that are beneficial to you and your finances. Very, very highlighted here is your finances, okay? Which is good. Um, just be aware of people taking it, okay? And also contracts and small print. Very important that you read this up, all right? Uh, let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Let's talk about it. We have this Three of um, Pentacles. We have the uh, uh, King of Swords and the Knight of uh, 
Well, the Queen of Swords is you, Aquarius. The Knight of Pentacles is you're trying to take things slow. Yes, do that, okay? You guys are planting seeds, again, investing. Really good for, again, travel. Uh, I feel like there could be some long trips in the future for you, uh, maybe even this year. With the Three of Pentacles, though, coming through with the Seven of Swords, just be aware of people who are either trying to distract you, trying to take your ideas. Uh, this could even be people who are trying to get you to sign something again that you might not really agree with so this is just about standing in your power turning your back from people who are trying to be deceptive to you okay really important that you do this here okay because it feels like someone's out for their own gain trying to get you on board on something that mm, you're working on your own thing just don't give any more time and energy or money to people who uh aren't making good use of it when you could put this towards your own investments you know what i mean they're, they're telling you basically aquarius be smart with your money and finances okay this is good though. Again, be very make the right decisions with your money. You guys, as this is your card, you're standing in your true power about knowing where to put it. Again, listening to your intuition is going to be very, very good for you. <laughs> you might, guys are manifesting a lot of money though. May I say this? Some of you might be visiting like a castle or some, some kind in the future. This has significance. Maybe you're going to meet someone there. Like a castle or a really big building uh, or a cathedral of some kind. Uh, but it's something about a big building. And I don't mean like the building buildings. I actually mean this is kind of historic in some ways, okay? You might meet someone there or an idea comes to you there or something. All right, anything else for Aquarius this week? Five of Cups. Be aware of crying over spilt milk. Of course, not everything's going to go the way that we want it to. And maybe in the past it hasn't, but this is where we look at the two cups and see opportunities rather than losses, okay? Because it's true, that is what things are. We learn lessons from losses and mistakes. Um, we ultimately gain something at the end of the day. Even if it's not what we wanted to go, who wants to make mistakes, huh? No one does, really. But when you start to see the positives of it, with the Five of Cups, you start to see, okay, well, this now tells me what is going to work. Okay. Five of Cups, let's clarify. Knight of Cups, which is filling up your own cup here. I feel like you've put so much trust in other people. This is time that you put some trust into yourself, you know? Because uh, I, I kind of feel like there's... <sighs> you've kind of given yourself to others at times, whether it be ideas or whether it be um, love, of course. And people have kind of spilt that. And you've been upset about that because you're like, I put all my time and energy into this and this is how you treat it or this is how you treat me. After all I've done. But if you kind of go, do you know what? I can't control that. It's a shame that these people did this or that this didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. But I still have two cups left. See your opportunities. You still have another chance here or whatever this is. Go fill up that cup and go out there and go get what it is that you want. I really feel like here we're going to get some success. Whether it's in commitment, in career, here. You guys might be scared of rejection, but this is where again. Rejection is God's protection. You will never be rejected from something that is divinely yours at that time. So it's really important to understand that you still have chances left. You do. It's kind of like, uh, <laughs> uh, what, what can I uh, say with this? You know, like a video game, you kind of run out of lives. You, st you still have lives left to, to try things out. And we might be upset because we're like, mm, I've, I've, I've missed three opportunities or, you know, I've been turned down by three things or whatever this is. This number is just, again, hypothetical with this card. There are still some vessels here that you can use, some ideas you can still use. Anyways, done with the lecture. Let's move on to the angel guardian cards as well. Guardian angel cards. There we go, Zeta. For some reason, the air sign is very practical. Uh, <laughs> Things coming out. A lot to do with money though, so this is good for people here. All right, so for Aquarius, please, Spirit, what can you tell me? Number four, four might mean something, or four, 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 that's way too many cards, please, Spirit, which is about foundations, which is what you're ultimately building, which is good, okay? All right, for Aquarius, thank you. We have music. This could be very healing for you here, Aquarius. Listening to music might actually help lift your mood up too. Uh, people could be, yes. Doing music within this week could be very therapeutic for you. Let's see, anything else? Ideas and inspiration. We love this. Maybe through music you get ideas and inspiration or inspired, you know? And if you've been upset because you've been listening to sad music, let's put on some happy music, some motivated music, stuff that gets you in the mood to want to be productive or get your life sorted here. <laughs> I really feel like this could be very good, beneficial to you. It can really improve your mood. 
All right, one more, please. Thank you. Or two, let's go for it. Dreams and abundance. Yes, this is what you've seen before. I told you, you've seen this happen before. Uh, meaning that this is either an actual dream of yours, like I said, this luck or this, this opportunity that comes your way, this money, this wealth, this future of yours is starting to show up in your dreams of this abundance that you're able to achieve. It's true. Believe that. Work towards it because it's true what they're saying here. You are on the, on the way already to do in this. You just need more hope, which is where the hermit energy comes in. Seeing it from a higher perspective is really important, but it does feel like you're seeing this. Spirit is actually showing it to you is what they're saying here. All right, anything else? For love, actually, for Aquarius, please, with a love oracle. We have soulmates here coming through, so this is good. We have cassette here. It says outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. All right, let's see anything else. We have hand of cards. Some of you could be thinking about previous soulmates here and... Um, you know, thinking about old, like old people in your life. And this is where the outdated thinking is coming through, because I do think you've been heartbroken by people and you're worried that it might repeat itself again. Or, you know, you only get rejected by people or it never works out. People never know how to treat you. That could have been what that night of cups energy was. There is going to be someone who comes along um, or you pursue them or they pursue you, however you want it to happen. Or it depends on your energy here. There is someone out there for you, absolutely. Don't give up now. But what you do need to stop doing is thinking about the past um, and that everyone's going to do you that way. It's not true, okay? That is not true. I actually see that you're trans uh, transcending, ascending here, uh, going to the next phase. You're healing your inner child and there is growth on your side. Underneath that, we have I like you here and a palm tree. So I do think this could be finding someone when you're away on holiday or if you're traveling here. Uh, but there's also a lot of stability coming into your life too as well okay it's about taking a chance on some people and if you get rejected then at least you tried do you know what i mean it's about seeing it in a different light here all right my angels i love you i wish you all the best for this week here aquarius and i will see you guys next week okay